corrupt up there, sir. Gentlemen's orders, 007. You'll be using this Aston Martin DB5 with modifications. Reception on the dashboard here. Auto visual range 150 miles. Ingenious, useful too. Allow a man to stop off for a quick one en route. It has not been perfected out of years of patient research entirely for that purpose, 007. And incidentally, we'd appreciate its return, along with all your other equipment. Intact for once when you return from the field. Oh, you'd be surprised the amount of wear and tear that goes on out there in the field. Anything else? Now, this one I'm particularly keen about. You see the gear lever here? Now, if you take the top off, you'll find a little red button. Whatever you do, don't touch it. No, why not? Because you'll release this section of the roof and engage and fire the passenger ejector seat. Whoosh. Ejector seat? You're joking. I never joke about my work, 007. Oh, no. Ah, 007. What a wonderful surprise. Well, for me, too. I must say, I find this business of equipping you in the field, on the run, as it were, highly irregular. Here we have a Geiger counter. Useful and unobtrusive. The sweep hand takes the radioactivity count. It's waterproof, of course. But of course. Now, here's something I want you to use with special care. With special care. Everything you give is me. It's treated with equal contempt. Yes, I know, but that's an underwater camera. It takes eight pictures in rapid succession by pressing that button there. Is that clever? But if you can take pictures in the dark with an infrared film, yes. Try to be a little less than your usual frivolous self, 007. Now, here's a miniature very pistol, which fires a bright red flare, a distress signal. You should keep it on you day and night. I resent that remark. Yep. Look, do you mind? Now, in the event of a rebreather not being available, you can use this device. For short periods only, of course, say about four minutes. Clever. Obviously, you'll only use it as a last resort. It closes to a convenient pocket size. Hmm. That's assuming one has a convenient pocket. Now, pay attention. A recently developed harmless radioactive device. Harmless? Which sends out a homing signal to a special receiver. Hmm. Well, what am I supposed to do with this? Well, obviously, you swallow it. Now? Has little Nellie arrived yet? Yes, and her father. Good. Ah, oh, welcome to Japan, Dad. Is my little girl hot and ready? Look, 007, I've had a long and tiring journey, probably to no purpose. And I'm in no mood for your juvenile quips. I have much curiosity, Bonsa. What is little Nellie? Oh, she's a wonderful girl. Very small. Quite fast. Can do anything. Just your type. A toy helicopter? No, it's certainly not a toy. Congratulations, 007. I must confess that I've sometimes thought you were a little, um... Irresponsible? Exactly. That's exactly the word. Thank you. This time, my boy, I can't complain. Nor can I. <laughs> that was me. Teresa! Yes, Papa? Look, James, I know that we haven't always exactly seen... Well, anyway, don't forget, if there's anything you ever need... Thank you, Q, but this time I've got the gadgets. I know how to use them. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. A ridiculous contraption actually seems to work, Q. You've surpassed yourself this time. Not a bit of it. Made one of these for the kids last Christmas. That's unbelievable! An electromagnetic RPM controller. Been aching to give it a try. Lazar? Lazar. Hmm. Imaginative. Highly specialized. Yes, I concur. Q, I'll uh, need this. Rare it up, Lord Seven. Oh, I admit it's a little kinky. Car, the sprouted wings. Oh, that's perfectly feasible, sir. As a matter of fact, we're working on one now. Oh, Q, shut up. Where's a good night now? 
Uh, we don't know, sir. Well, communications aren't picking up the signal from the homer she has supplied by Q. Rubbish! They're simply not stepping up the reception sufficiently to enable... Oh, shut up, Q. I want that ready for Ackman's tea party. Good morning, Major Boothroyd. Good morning, Major. Look what Q's brought for us. Isn't it nice? Right. Now, pay attention, 007. I want you to take great care of this equipment. There are one or two rather special accessories. Q, there. have I ever let you down? Frequently. <laughs> Roll up your right sleeve, will you? This is now being issued as standard equipment. Strap it on your wrist. It's activated by nerve impulses from the wrist muscles. Like this? Oh, thank you, sir. Be careful, will you? Yes, kid. Ten darts. Five blue tipped with armor piercing heads, five red tipped cyanide coated, causing death in 30 seconds. Very novel cure. We must get them in the stores for Christmas. Good morning, gentlemen. Ah, there you are, 007. Balls cure? Bolus, 007. Have that ready for Army Day. You know, you seem to be right, 007. Thank you. Orchidea nigra. A very rare orchid indeed. Yes, it was thought to be extinct until a missionary brought one back from the upper reaches of the Amazoko. Well, actually, he brought it back from the area of the River Tipperapi. Well done, James. You better get up there and fast. And I've got something to get him there, if 007 can be trusted to look after it. We have audiovisual. Ah, at last. Double seven. My God, what's Bond doing? I think he's attempting re-entry, sir. Thank you. Miss Smithers, how's the arm? Coming along very nicely, thank you, sir. That'll come in handy. What are you doing here, 007? I don't interrupt you. Go this way. Stinging in the rain. That's not funny, 007. Oh, I see you managed to get the Lotus back together again. I disregard these jibes about our equipment, 007. I don't suppose you find it funny in the field. Indeed, I don't. Ah, Q. How are you? Most unhappy, 007, thanks to you. How can I be expected to maintain the quality of my work? Sent out here at a moment's notice. No proper facilities. Yes, well, you wouldn't have a smaller piece of thread than that, would you, Curious? Somebody seems to have stuck a knife in my wallet. Oh, they missed you. What a pity. I have uh, also mislaid my PPK. Anything else? Oh, that's okay. Last. Having problems keeping it up, Q? Experimental model. Take a fountain pen. Twist the top. And a highly concentrated mixture of nitric and hydrochloric acid. Dissolves all metals. Wonderful for poison pen letters. Pay attention, 007. Mm. Perfect image, Q. Really, 007. Look, I haven't time for these adolescent antics. Is he still there? You must be joking. 007 on an island populated exclusively by women. We won't see him till dawn. What are you doing? Yeah. 
Oh, cut it out. We haven't time for that. Oh. Later, perhaps. Minister. Commander. Good morning, sir. A new pet cue? If 007 you'd ever bother to read any memos sent from my department, you would realize that this is a prototype of a highly sophisticated surveillance machine. Oh, crap. Mm. Drop this. Okay. That is not so. <laughs> Hello? Grandfather calling Q. What's the position? 007 alive. Where is he? What's he doing? Just cleaning up a few details. Looks like it's a dead end here anyway. Ah, oh, good! We're making for the Americans. It's called a ghetto blaster. Stun gas. Effective range, oh, about five feet. Disorientates any normal person for about, oh, 30 seconds. Don't find too many normal people in this business, Q. What do I do to blow up the room? Whistle, God save the Queen? Well, it so happens, 007, that we've packed the finder with a highly concentrated plastic explosive. Sufficient to remove the door of any safe. It's magnetic. The actuating signal is personalized. What's my code? Oh, most appropriate. A wolf whistle. You mean, um... Stop! You may find the keys useful. They open 90% of the world's locks. All right, sit down and make yourself comfortable. Ah. Oh. Really, 007? Q, what the hell are you doing here? I might have killed you. Well, I'm on leave. Thought I'd pop around and see how you're getting on. You all right? Yes, of course I'm all right. Oh, don't be an idiot, 007. I know exactly what you're up to, and quite frankly, you're going to need my help. Remember, if it hadn't been for Q Branch, you'd have been dead long ago. Everything for a man on holiday. Explosive alarm clock. Guaranteed never to wake up anybody who uses it. Dentonite toothpaste. To be used sparingly. It's the latest in plastic explosive. Pam, this is Q, my uncle. Uncle, this is Miss Kennedy, my cousin. Ah, we must be related. How do you do? Now, pay attention, 007. Now, this looks like an ordinary camera, doesn't it? What kind of film does it take? 120? No, 0.220 high velocity. Smile, boys. Don't use a flash! <laughs> ah! Stop fiddling about with things that you don't understand. You might easily have killed him. That's odd. I love James so much. I'll be damned if I'll help him. Look, don't judge him too harshly, my dear. Field operatives must often use every means at their disposal to achieve their objectives. Bullshit! <sighs> Bond's just left in convoy. Two cars and a jeep turning north onto the main highway. I copy that, Q. Over and out. Morning, Q. Sorry about the leg. Huh. Skiing? Hunting. Need I remind you, 007, that you have a license to kill, not to break the traffic laws. I wouldn't think of it. Good. Have you finished? Yes. Good. A typical leather belt. Q, I'm familiar with that device. Not one with a 75-foot repelling cord built into the buckle. I see. And what if I need additional support? It's tested for one double O's. A pen. This is a class four grenade. Three clicks, arms the four second fuse, another three disarms it. How long did you say the fuse was? Oh, grow up, 007. They all said the pen was mightier than the sword. Thanks to me, they were right. One, two, 
three. <laughs> Don't say it. The writing's on the wall? <laughs> Along with the rest of it. <laughs> now, 007, do please try and return some... <laughs> Do please try and return some of this equipment in pristine order. Don't touch that! It's my lunch. If you just sign here, Mr. Bond. <clears throat> it's the insurance damage waiver for your beautiful new car. Will you need collision coverage? Yes. Fire? Probably. Property destruction? Definitely. Personal injury? I hope not, but accidents do happen. They frequently do with you. Do I need any other protection? Only from B007, unless you bring that car back in pristine order. Your new BMW 750. All the usual refinements. Machine guns, rockets, the GPS tracking system. Welcome. Please fasten seatbelt and obey all instructions for a safe trip. Thought you'd pay more attention to a female voice. I think we've met. I am not interested in your sordid escapades. Let's get on with it, shall we? Your new telephone. Talk here, listen here. So that's what I've been doing wrong all these years. <laughs> Look, it also includes a fingerprint scanner and a 20,000 volt security system and this, I'm particularly proud of. The remote control for your car. Well, it's surprisingly difficult to mm. drive, but uh, with practice... Mm -hmm. Well, let's see how she responds to my touch, thank you. Understand each other? <laughs> Grow up, 007. Stop! Stop! It isn't finished! Stop! Oh, pipe down, 007. Was it something I said? No. Something you destroyed. My fishing boat. For my retirement. Away from you. And you might be. This is 007. If you're Q, does that make him R? Titanium armor, a multitasking heads-up display, and six beverage cup holders. All in all, rather stocked. Fully loaded, I think is the term. I think. You're not here to think. You're here to do what I tell you. Note closely, please. Pockets, poppers, and zipper. Take the lower part of the zipper and insert it into oh, the appropriate the tag. tag. In the... What? You said... Now, pay attention, 007. I've always tried to teach you two things. First, never let them see you bleed. And the second? Always have an escape plan. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. As always, take her easy.